Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Hester and welcome to Space Engineers. Now today I'm going to be covering refineries on large mining ships. And as you can see, the mass of my refining, or my mining ship, sorry, is going down. And that is because if we go to the refineries, whoops, you can see that they are refining. And as the only th times that mass is not lost is when you refine iron and stone. So there is a double-edged sword in that. And also, when you consider, if we go back and look at gold, for example, we can see down here in the ingots, there is a little over 1300 kilograms of ingots but it only takes up 68 liters of volume if we go down here this stack of ore is substantially higher than the ingots themselves and yet there's roughly the same amount granted there's less and if I was to move I can't move those I have I have a container sorter or conveyors. I have the sorting block. Ugh, it's been a long day. <laughs> but one has to consider if you're not going after stone like I am, I'm going after all materials because I refuse to play without the concrete mod. <clears throat> Devs. So. You have to consider, is shedding that extra weight and also saving time worth it? Because when you consider it, yes, there is the double-edged sword in that for the same amount of volume for iron, you can store three times the amount of weight of iron ingots versus the ore. So there is a double-edged sword in that, yes, you're going to start going in excess of what you would have with your ingots. However, you do still skip that extra step of having to transport it all the way back to get processed. However, mo in a lot of cases, you would have a, a dual system. Your mining ships would have a refining capacity. However, they're not fully dedicated mining and refining ships. So there is that to consider. Now, if you do want a mobile mining and processing um, ship, because, say, you don't want to get tied down because you're worried hostile players will find your base and over time whittle away its defenses, or if built into an asteroid, they'll slowly chip at that asteroid and start hitting your main base, it's just something to consider. But I'd say the most efficient system, if you do have a base and not a, f a mobile mothership of sorts, would be a dual system where mining ships, yes, they mine, but they also still transport the ore to be process processed at a central point. Another benefit is that if you're mining uranium, the ships will feed themselves, so thereby oh, you only have a day's worth of fuel. However, you found a rich asteroid in uranium, and after you mine and process it, now you can stay out for a week. Also, another thing you can do is um, little cargo ships that transport the ore, or not the ore, the ingots from the mining ships and transport them back. But again, this defeats the dual uh, refining purpose. So... There's a lot of things to consider, and as I've stated previously in other videos, a lot of what I do is for factions. So, if you're a faction and you need to better manage your resources, either you can't defend your main base, or you're getting a lot of ore, but and your ships are getting heavier, it might be good to refine things from cobalt, nickel, and more rare things, especially platinum and uranium, where 
the conversion, I believe, at least a few months ago when I checked, was for every thousand kilograms of ore, you only get seven ingots. So, or seven kilograms of ingots. So, it's just something to consider, at least for the higher, high end ores. Stone and iron with the uh, dual uh, with the efficiency modules, however, you will notice the conversion is one to one. So there is a downside, but because I'm one of the players that loves and absolutely refuses to play without the concrete mod <coughs> devs, stone is still useful to me. So yes, there is a trade-off. So just some things to consider. And how you convey it and all that jazz will, again, depend on your personal preference and the faction's needs. So, just some things to consider, and that's pretty much it. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.